breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. It is dangerous to leave Namdekano in detention till election primaries. Uriwa warns. It is dangerous to leave Namdekano in detention till election primaries. Uriwa warns. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has called for the immediate and unconditional release of Unam de Kanu. Kanu is the leader of the indigenous people of the Afro IPOP. The human rights organization said this while accusing the Department of State Services, DSS, of mismanaging the case of Kanubai, among other things. Flagrantly denying him access to his lawyers, contrary to court orders. Uriwa said that the heads of the DSS must at this point de escalate the tensions in the southeast by adhering strictly to the rules of engagement and respect decisions of the competent court. The group said Buhari should release the IPOP leader without further delay and set up a proper mechanism for an all out negotiation and dialogue on ways to restore peace security and stability to the southeast. Adding that it was dangerous for Kano to remain in detention till April when presidential primary elections would commence. Uriwa said, Posterity will not forget Buhari should he now act as a real statesman and a patriot by unconditionally granting pardon to all political detainees, including members and the leaders of IPOB and Yoruba Nation agitators, now before the 2023 presidential primary elections, Uriwa said this in a statement signed by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Owumbigo, and made available to Daily Post saying that the actions of the DSS against Kanu showed blatant disregard to the judiciary. The IPOP leader's lawyer, Ifiai Ejiofo, had recently cried out that the DSS had four times in two weeks barred Kanu's lawyers, led by Chief Mike Ozekome, from meeting him in custody. A Jufo said on Monday that all efforts by the lawyers to meet Kanu were resisted at the secret police, insisted that our request ran contrary to their procedure and guidelines. Uriwa cried out that the trial of the IPOB leader is highly politicized, adding that the Buhari government at grossly mismanaging the matter. The group knocked the Antony General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami's son, who, according to Heed, had on many occasions rushed to the media to make allegations upon allegation against the secessionist leader. To state a matter of fact, the president has mismanaged Kano's case to an extent that it has stoked tension and caused violence in the southeast, the group said. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has called for the immediate and unconditional release of Unam de Kanu. Kanu is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo. The human rights organization said this while accusing the Department of State Services, 
DSS of mismanaging the case of Kano by, among other things. Flagrantly denying him access to his lawyers, contrary to court orders. Uriwa said that the heads of the DSS must at this point de-escalate the tensions in the southeast by adhering strictly to the rules of engagement and respect decisions of the competent court. The group said Buhari should release the IPOB leader without further delay and set up a proper mechanism for an all-out negotiation and dialogue on ways to restore peace, security and stability to the southeast, adding that it was dangerous for Kano to remain in detention till April when presidential primary elections would commence. Uriwa said posterity, we not forget Buhari, should he now act as a real statesman and a patriot by unconditionally, granting pardon to all political detainees, including members and the leaders of IPOP and Yoruba nation agitators now before the 2023 presidential primary elections. Uriwa said this in a statement, signed by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Owumbiko, and made available to Daily Post, saying that the actions of the DSS against Kanu showed blunted disregard to the judiciary. The IPOB leader's lawyer, Ifei Ejiofo, had recently cried out that the DSS had four times in two weeks barred Kano's lawyers, led by Chief Mike Ozekobe, from meeting him in custody. Ejiofo said on Monday that all efforts by the lawyers to meet Kano were resisted as the secret police insisted that our request ran contrary to their procedure and guidelines. Uriwa cried out that the trial of the IPOB leader is highly politicized, adding that the Buari government had grossly mismanaging the matter. The group knocked the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, Son, who, according to it, had on many occasions rushed to the media to make allegation upon allegations against the secessionist leader. To state a matter of fact, the president has mismanaged Kano's case to an extent that it has stoked tension and caused violence in the southeast, the group said. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned and please do drop by at the comment section. And let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.